What's up, everybody? Matt Kajeski here, back again with Odd Shopper. And today we are talking some college basketball bets ahead of February the 17th. But before we get started, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the video, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all other content goes live. Our title sponsor today is BetMGM, and we have a promo for those of you new to the platform. What you're going to do is create a BetMGM Sportsbook account, deposit at least $10, and make your first paid bet. You are going to get three free months of Osmo Plus Platinum and up to $1,000 risk-free betting. When you sign up, make that deposit and make your first paid wager. Pretty good deal, if you ask me. Without further ado, let's go to BetMGM and talk about our bets today. The first one we will discuss is Colorado at California. This is minus two and a half in favor of Colorado. One we could have grabbed at one and a half earlier, but it has since moved and should continue to do so throughout the day. Just a different level of competition here for these teams. Colorado ranks 189th on offense compared to Cal 248th. On defense, Colorado 69th, Cal 153rd. Rebounding, Colorado 65th, Cal 155th. All these metrics point towards Colorado first and foremost before we even look at recent level of competition. Colorado's been without defender Elijah Perquet recently, but they've still been able to win their last three games. Meanwhile, Cal's a team that has overperformed expectation recently. They knock off Oregon State and Oregon, but prior to that, they'd lost 10 straight games in conference play. So this is a team we are selling high on a little bit here, whereas we are buying Colorado a little bit low. We know Colorado has the, the size advantage, particularly in rebounding, but also two-point defense. It favors Colorado with Jabari Walker, Keyshawn Bartholomew, and Tristan De Silva, some of the elite bigs they do have. So first thing we'll be doing is backing Colorado in this spot. Number two, we are going to go to a total. We actually have two totals to close this out. Oregon taking on Arizona State. This is one that has also moved drastically. It started at 134 and a half, and now it is up to 137, 137 and a half. So this is one you also want to jump on pretty early. And the easiest way to break this down is just look at the pace of these teams. They're both above average in terms of pace. And then for Arizona State, you have a team that actually plays well above average. And they're a team that actually struggles defensively as well here too. They rank 130th in overall defensive efficiency. On offense, Oregon has the firepower to exploit this. They rank 82nd themselves. And Arizona State's a team that actually has played a little bit better recently compared to their early season play. They knocked off UCLA in a triple overtime win, and they actually scored 79 against Arizona. That was a loss, but they covered the spread in that contest too. So Arizona State has been shooting a little better. They're a team that dealt with a lot of injuries and suspensions throughout the year. So when they are at full capacity, they are a team that can put up points. They're just very giving in terms of points as well. They've given up at least 84 in three of their last four games. Heading to our last bet, this is going to be another total. It is Washington at USC, 139 and a half. We are going to go over this. One that hasn't budged much, but one I expect to move perhaps throughout the day. First thing we have here is the pace of Washington. They're one of the faster teams in the country, averaging 74.2 possessions per game. USC is about average to slightly below average in terms of their possessions per game, but they're very efficient on offense. They rank 59th there, and they're a team that can take advantage of Washington's 127th ranked defense, particularly in the interior, where we have a Washington team that ranks 216th, and then they also rank 246th in rebounding. We know USC with Mobley, they're going to be very strong interior presence. They rank eighth in rebounding in the country. And Mobley, who's missed the last two games, is expected to play here. On the other side with Washington, we do expect to see Dejon Davis, who's another pretty good score for this team, probably their third best player, their third most used player. So getting Dejon Davis back should be good for this team overall in terms of their scoring. But again, they're so weak on defense. USC should be able to do what they want. And in the pay sub spot, we'll be looking towards the over here. But that will do it for today's video. Those are the three bets. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite bets are. I'm Matt Gajeski on Twitter at Matt underscore Gajeski. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again.